Okay, I, th I think it's on. Okay, cool. Um, hello everybody, um, um, well, this is my talk, um, introduction to game design. It's basically just, um, a little bit of just, hey, um, I wanted to do some stuff, so, oh, I gotta get... Someone, d I've made mods that you've never heard of. Um, someone did say cringe mods, and I agree. Um, I use she, her pronouns. Yeah. Okay. So what is this talk? This talk serves to help people who wouldn't normally think about game design, think about game design. An introduction point, if you will. What this talk isn't. This is not a game design tutorial. You will develop your own design philosophies and style as you keep developing things. Not a tutorial. Um, and it's also supposed to be applicable, so you hopefully you're able to um, apply this talk outside of the modding ecosystem. And if you like it, feel free to share it around with people outside of the ecosystem. Um, uh, what, who this, but yeah, this talk is, this talk is more so centered around newer game designers. Of course, people who would know all of this information can listen in, but they aren't necessarily the target audience here. Feel free to provide feedback for the talk at, at the end. I'd appreciate it. Last year's Blanket Con had mostly topics that were more so suited to ex more experienced modders, so I hoped to bring some more diversity within the prerequisite knowledge required for a talk to make sense to you. Okay, the big question. What is game design? It's cringe. Okay, that was off script. Um, it's not cringe. Um, Game design is a process where we create rules and systems for a player to engage with. For example, everything operating in a cubic meters in Minecraft is a game design rule. Um, so what is the goal of game design? The goal is to engage the player. Generally just give the player an... In Generally you try to give the player an enjoyable experience, however it doesn't have to be this. Like, you're more so looking for whether the player is engaging in a certain way. Game design is suggestive. It, no, not suggestive. Oh my god. Um, game design is subjective. There is no objective good game design. Um, as the experience varies to person to person. And we got... And hence I, why I said, it's not a tutorial. A quote from Masahiro Sakurai is like, Oh, if you can't discern taste, you shouldn't be a chef. Yeah, this is, um... Just like... Yeah, you have taste. You have your own opinions on game design. Now, how do you think like a game designer? Generally, when considering any content for a mod, you want to think on whether that thing contributes to the goal you're aiming for with that specific feature and the goal of the for the entire mod. So let's get into an example mod. Whoop. Um, let's take a basic example to get you all thinking. Um, let's say you're making a weaponry mod where the design goal is to introduce more variety within Minecraft's weaponry. For your first weapon, you're making a melee weapon that is more so suited for being up close to the target. There are two terms that I use to describe different elements of content that I'll present in this talk. Mechanics and thematics. Um, you can design with either one in mind first, but for the sake of this presentation, it would be easier to introduce thematics first as it's the easier of the two to grasp. Um, Thematics is how your concept content is presented to the player. So, for our weapon, we may decide that a mace is fitting for this new weapon, as they shouldn't come with a lot of range. Now, mechanics. Um, mechanics are how your bit of content functions. 
let's say that this mace has an enhanced critical hit. Um, but the cost of having less attack range. So, thematics and mechanics cooperate. Think of them as... Think of them as like a yin and yang. Um, they, they come together and you're supposed to have a good, like, balance between them. It's okay if one... Try to get both to work with each other. It's okay if one overshadows the other slightly, but try to aim for a healthy amount of, um... Oh, sorry. Have you not got your voice connected to Phonos, or is the headset just not working for me? Can anyone else confirm? I can hear you just fine. Yeah, it's working Thank you. just fine. Cool. So, it's okay if one slightly overshadows the other in, um, in, um, um, this department, but just don't, but just get a good balance between the two, because, like, you, what you don't want is, like, something to... Cause like the best the best type of content is when the thematics and mechanics come together to make something that's amazing. Like Yeah. Um so let's talk about flavor. I'm also briefly briefly mentioning flavor because this is a good because flavor is where it's content that's not vital to the to to the experience. This can be Thematics or mechanics. So like it can be like lore text. Um it can be like lore text, for example. Um you might and you don't want it to um you don't want to make sure that it takes away you want to make sure that flavor does not actively take away from the goal if you include it. Um for example, you might conclude that applying knockback to a target with this mace is not a good fit. For the weapon, because the weapon focuses on being up close to your enemies. However, something like, for example, being able to bash melons and pumpkins would not hurt this bot goal. So ultimately, why do I bring up flavor? Um, mainly just because, like, it's something that I should bring bring up. Because this is a good thing that's like for non-essential mechanics and and thematics. This experience will- flavor can help, but don't do too much of it. Um, this experience is ultimately up to- up to you, and it will- and it will be different for each individual project of yours. Which is my segue into the next topic. Design goals. These These are the, um, are the, um, these are the objectives of your project. So it's like, I briefly mentioned them in the previous section, but they're really a broad topic that I think deserve their own section. Design goals are the objectives of your content that you're designing for. To reiterate a design goal from the previous section, introducing more weaponry to Minecraft. You can have multiple, just make sure that they don't conflict. conflict. Design guidelines. They're the rule of they're the rules of your project. Like let's say um let's say like um you don't want enchantments to be just quality of life features that you can download a separate mod for. Um or range weapons do not have tiers and they instead use enchantments to make them differ. And different mechanics. You are always free to mend the rules if they don't work though. So Rules are not final when it comes to the game, when it comes to um, guidelines, which also is the next slide. Goals and guidelines can be changed over time. Yeah, design goals can absolutely change over time, and you can even fail to achieve them. I'd like to mention Batania's original goal of trying to be like Voxel Sniper in survival. But that wasn't achieved, so it became something else. Um, the mod can follow either a new goal, or you can rework slash overhaul it. 
reworking, reworking and um, overhauling content is out of scope for this talk, but there is a difference between the two. Scrapping content. You'll do this a lot, trust me. As a game designer, you will need to be able to scrap certain ideas that don't work out in practice. Referring to the example I stated in thinking like a game designer section, the knockback on the Nele focused sword would be considered a scrapped concept. Um, what was what was Batania's original goal? It was um, it was supposed to be like Voxel Sniper accessible in survival. From what I know, this might be wrong. Um, please correct me if I am wrong, but I remember just I do remember something mentioning that. So don't grow too attached to your concepts. The takeaway of this topic is to not grow too attached to your concepts. Game designers scrap concepts all the time. It can be painful to scrap a concept that you grow attached to, but if it's for the greater good of the project, just do it. Now, design differences. Wow, opinions. Um, design differences are when two people have different opinions on how something should be designed. Design differences are a natural part of game design, whether it's within your friend group or with another modder who's less close. A lot of projects are born from design differences. They are not a bad thing to have. Over half of my mods were born from design differences. Okay. So the key to design differences is identifying them. You will learn when and when not to listen to others' feedback. It's your mod, it's your decision. Make sure to talk to others while game designing though. It's always good to have another person's perspective on things that you have made. Like talking to others is something that I'm gonna go into just a bit longer. Go off script here. Um, it's very important that you talk to others during game design, because, like, you can sort of just get caught up in a little bubble, but, like, how do you know if, like, that that is, like, a good feature? Someone else might have to have their say, someone less biased towards your own work. So I'd really recommend talking to others about game design. Like, I'm also going to shout out Lua here. I'm going to shout out Lua. Um, they pretty much helped me a lot. Um, thanks, Lua. Um, managing yourself. This is a section that might also apply to, like, more, um... So this is a section that might apply to everyone, really. Like, if you're not managing yourself during game design, um, you're gonna burn out. Not good. You don't want to burn out. So... It might be overwhelming to you to um, if you look at the big picture. So here's some advice on the um, yeah. Remember game studios and crunch. Don't be AAA game studios. Um, self care should always come first over hobbyist game design. Um, game design is a process, so you're best to pace yourself as problems may arise one day with a solution found another day. Try not to force yourself to do things that you just can't. As with all projects, you, sh you should not have the expectations that a first product will be out extremely quickly. You'll be doomed for failure. Triple A Studios, ladies and gentlemen, and thems. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, additionally, don't beat yourself up over the mistakes throughout your, your time as a game designer. Hey, we make mistakes. Now, start small. I cannot stress this enough if you're getting into game design. Um, work up to big projects. Say you want to make a new dimension? Cool. But that's a huge undertaking for a new designer. 
You're best to start small and then go large. It'll save you a lot of frustration while trying to learn. Now, watch out for scope creep. Um, please keep scopes, please keep scope creep in mind. This is where you keep adding new things to your project to do, so it never gets finished. You might have a lot of cool concepts that you want to put into a single project, but you should make sure that you don't end up biting, up more, biting off more than you can chew. As said previously, knowing what to scrap is important. I even made a Saturday morning cartoon villain. Um, the scope creep goblin. Drawing this scope creep goblin was out of scope. I don't know why I did it. Okay, thanks for listening everyone. That was all I that was all I have for today. Um I'm gonna get back to playing um not Animal Crossing, but old school RuneScape. Um Yeah. Um if you wanna hear more from me though, um I'm planning to upload to a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to at Merchant Pug. I'll be uploading Minecraft modding game design focus videos there, so feel free to check it out. I'll most likely be uploading somebody else's recording of this presentation there. Please send me your recordings of the presentation and check the description if you're watching it. Because you'll get to see who actually made the recording. Um, I'd also like to give some credits to Lua.exe, to Lua um, Seducer of Trees, also um, he's in the crowd, Victor, Victor3210. Um, and Silent, who is another one of my friends who I don't think is here. Um, also Spider Colo, because he's always right. Now, any questions? Hi, from Anonymous. Thank you. Hi, Among Us, from Anonymous. That's a good question as well. I am ill-equipped to answer it. How do you ask a question? Um, drop the drop the um pay, drop the book on the conveyor drop a written book on a conveyor belt. I don't think Is it has to be written. Oh, it doesn't have to be written. Okay, I'm unsure. So, is scope creeper fruity? This is these are some good questions. How do you keep up motivation while working on large projects? This is a good question. Um, I guess just take your time with them. Um, talk to them about your friends. Uh, talk to it with your friends. Um, if you have someone interested, you're more likely to, um, to be able to get it done. And like, ask people for feedback. Like, um, this is at least what I do. Like, yeah, rubber duck it. Yeah, like, Rub a duck it when you get stuck in design hell, yep. Do you have any projects that you are proud of? Um, I'm pretty proud of Bovines and Buttercups. Um, that's going to have to go through a rewrite though, because I am unhappy with the state of it in terms of code. I love, I love what, like I love what um, I did with it, but it's just that, it's just that it's like, Kind of poorly written at the moment. Um, so, I also like the Too Many Origins rework because, like, that actually turns some of my worst work into some of my into something that I really love. Um, well, to be fair, I was starting out with Too Many Origins, so it's like, yeah. Another mod that I want to mention here is um, a future enchantment overhaul called Enchiridion. Um, you'll have you'll have to wait and see for that one. Um, that is going. That is basically going to be um, an enchantment overhaul that focuses on like having more diversity within the enchantments that you select and and synergy, which it's um, which it's like. Yeah, um, we're focusing on just making the enchanting experience quite good. Enchanting and enchantments. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm proud of. Um, 
But what are your favorite mods to play slash use? I'm going to mention Origins. Like, that is one that I've... That introduced me to modding. And I haven't... And I haven't, like, gone off Origins. Apace did a very good job with the mod. Some of the custom content's questionable. But that's always the case when you have a lot of custom co content. Do you think it's better to try and rework an old idea? Or create a new idea from scratch? From, from Stony Hoof. Um... That's a good question. Um, it really depends. Um, like, do you like the old idea enough? Do you like the old idea enough um, to to warrant continuing work on it under a new under like a new rework that might that might. Um, do you like the old idea enough? Really, it's just sunk cost fall. Really, you got to keep in mind um, sunk cost fallacy and like stuff like that. So. Like, is it worth it? Is it worth starting a new idea or reworking an old idea? That's up to you, not up to me. Um, what do you? Okay, that's that's a repeat. Um, other than origins, um, other than origins, in terms of um, things that I like and mods that I like, I really like. I I found that I really like Promenade. Um, which is also, which I figured out Promenade here was really good. Like, I love Promenade, um, looking at it. It looks really nice. Um, love the Capybaras. Please visit that booth if you want. I don't actually play a lot of mods, but those are my recommendations. Um, Origins and Promenade. I like, I'm more of a light modder. I'm more of like a light a light, um, a light pack person with focus. Like, kitchen sinks do not sit well with me. I just need more substance. Um, and also, it's like, I cannot really, and, like, I also can't really get into, um, I can't really, I don't really get into mods with, like, really focus, with, like, really, like, sort of, like, specific mechanics, like, like, let's say Create. Create's very popular. I would recommend it if you're interested in it. But I am not really the target audience of Create. So, I can't really say much. But I would absolutely recommend Create. If, like, you're interested in that part of Minecraft. I did not even show the questions. My bad. Do you think Scope Creeper is single? Yes, I think so. I don't think anybody would. That's such a good question. Thank you. Thank you for asking this. Is mod pack design a kind of game design? Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Like mod pack design is like is game design. I would say so. Um, if like you're going into specifics with the mod pack, um, totally. Like that is game design. Like if you're gonna like make, yeah, absolutely. I've already answered this one. Um, how do you know personally prevent preventing feature creep? I know you said that scrapping stuff is part of it. But... But how do you do it? Um... This is a good question as well. Um... Simply put, um... I would say that you just... Like, make sure that you know your... You know your limitations with your project. And, um... Make sure you know your limitations, what you want to do. Um... Don't come up with a million features at the same time. Part of it is like just knowing when to stop. I think. Like it's... Part of it is knowing when to stop. So it's like sometimes you might be like, Oh yeah, this is the mod. This is all I'm going to add. And that is what I'd recommend. Just know when to stop adding features. Otherwise you'll, otherwise you'll run into scope creep. How much do you recommend planning out your game design before before 
writing it. How detailed slash extensive is it? Um, I personally go very detailed. Like, like, there's of course some things where it's like you don't want to, um, where you don't want to write it out. This is like specific numbers. Like, I don't, I never write out balance when planning game design because you need to actively play to understand that. And, um, yeah, so pretty much, pretty much the goal is to like, um, pretty much what you want is, um, pretty much just do what's right for you. Do what's right for you. Um, yeah. Just do what's right for you. Like, some, t some people will like to go in immediately, whereas others like me will plan basically entire swaths of content at a time before starting. As a great person once said, anyone can cook, even a rat. Is this also true for game design creation slash mod creation? Um, totally. I think so. I think it's... I think make what you want at the end of the day. Um... Make what you want at the end of the day, and it's like, you'll, it's a learning process. So, like, just like cooking, you'll learn. Um, you will learn. Like, if a rat can cook, it's like, I mean, a rat can cook, but like, um, yeah. Do you have any thoughts on chat GPT and game design? I'm not equipped to answer this. Um, I feel like, personally, if you were to ask me, I think that a person is going to produce better results than chat GPT. Mainly because there's actual like soul on a person. So do not do chat GPT. Um, you're better off making, um, you're better off making it on your actual opinions. How many subscribers do you think we'll get? Um, the majority of subscribers I think I'll get over time is, um, will be, um, from actually uploading. Um, I'm not getting a mill. I'm not getting the golden play button. I'm not getting more subscribers than Markiplier. Um. Not with that attitude. Okay, maybe I will have more subs than Markiplier one day. But. Make your own golden play button. Sure. Um. One more billion. Thank you. Um, I think that I'll probably get like. Around, I'm, I'd be happy with around like, I'd be happy with like 10, honestly. I'd be happy with 10. Um, like if I can get more than 10 or less than 10, that's cool. But 10 is like sort of something that I would appreciate. But I don't believe, I, if I don't believe that I can succeed, it'll be harder to do so. Totally. Um. I think that, like, I will... I think that it's going to be, like, mostly my other uploads that will get me to, um, have more subscribers. Because I need... So I want to upload more. I will be uploading content there. And, um, yeah. What are your opinions on Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I do not know anything about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm sorry. How do you approach a mod or project that has been informatically made before without feeling like, an, like a copy? Oh, I forgot a mod that I actually would recommend. Aurora's Decorations. One of my favorite mods. Love Aurora's Decorations. Yeah? Um... Uh... Yeah, um, I think that Aurora's de- but speaking of Aurora's Decorations, I think that this is a perfect mod that can show you how to do that. Um, because, because, um, this was, as Aurora's Decorations was very much features that existed in other mods, like supplementaries, but it's like, Aurora put her own spin on it, which is the key, which is the key, um, which is the key component of making a mod that's thematically made before. Put your own spin on it. New design, new, d different people will make different things, and there's a lot of effort, there's a lot of, like, cool things about, um, you can put a, you can put a lot of cool things into your, um, mod if you're, um, 
42. Yeah, that's the number of life. That's that's a number of life. That's all I know about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, do you think that Minecraft modding is a good environment to learn mod development? Um, learn game design or mod development? Um, could you please elaborate? If um if it's if it's a good design, if it's a good if it's a good I think it's a good environment to um I think it's a good environment to learn um game design. Like I would recommend just finding something that you're very interested in making and yeah, you know what? Like I like I started with I literally started game design with Minecraft with specifically Origins and like that has helped me a lot figure with figuring out what I what I personally like and um, seeing in game design, and it's like, yeah, you can see too. Um, the you can visit the mall if you want to see too many origins, but let's no plugs, no plug, no plugs. We aren't about plugging. Um, yeah. Uh, how do you deal with how do you deal with feature removal and potential upset players? Um, simply put, you can't please everyone. There will be someone who is upset about a feature removal. In my opinion, do it if you want to. Um, feature remove if you want to. So, if it's your mod, don't let other people dictate it for you. Like as as um Sedusa once said, or Victor in game, um, as he once said. When I was, I had a scrapped feature for Dragonborn that I actually kind of liked, but then I realized that it wasn't adding anything on top of that. Dragonborn in Too Many Origins rework. I had a scrapped feature. I had a scrapped feature there, which was breath smithing, where you could like apply buffs to, to, to like your mining and um, your, and your um, weapons, which it's like, we sort of scrapped it. We sort of ended up scrapping it as Sedusa said, what's the point of the feature? And that got me thinking. Yeah, I was a bit, I was a bit like, oh, but what if people are upset that such a feature is not here? Because it was a sick concept, but like, you know, sometimes it's just better, again, with scrapping concepts. Um, yeah, just do it if, do it, do it. Um, if someone complains, um, don't, don't bow down to them. Unless you really think that it's better. Um, don't listen to everyone. This is, an, this is specifically in the design differences section. Don't listen to everyone. 42. 42. Yeah, that's so cool. What is the story behind my username? Is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy... <laughs> I don't know anything about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I'm sorry. Okay, so Pug was a username that I came up with when I was like 12. The pug has always stayed when I... Uh, I'm 20 now, but the pug has consistently stayed for eight years. The merchant came from me, like, really liking a character in Octopath Traveler. Um, it was like, I loved the concept, but I just cannot play Octopath Traveler for the life of me. I could not get into it, but I still really liked Tressa from Octopath. Um, so that's my... So that's my, um... So that's how it is. Pug, there's more in that book. Um, like two pages worth. Wait, there's more? Um, what, what are the other questions? I don't actually, I can't actually see them. Whoop. Ah, shit. Okay, you can hear me? Um, we can still hear you, I think, so... Yeah, we can Thank hear you. you. Oh, okay. Like so... What is... When is unoriginality helpful, unhelpful in game... When is originality unhelpful in game design? I think it's when you're trying... I think it's when, like, you're trying too hard. Sometimes you can go for obvious features that would work out better. But if you're trying to be original all the time, it can be unhelpful. Because sometimes you might want to go with a very simple feature that might have been... That might be similar to something you've seen before. Like, I'm just gonna say this, um... Let's say, um... Let's say, um, uh... Enchiridion, as another example, um... We were like, oh, I want an axe... I want an axe enchantment that specifically has, like, ice. That's specifically related to ice. Um... 
with that, it's like, with that, it's like, um, oh, um, like, I ultimately settled with a very simple solution for that. And, um, you know, I think it worked out. So you don't have to make everything super original. Sometimes it can hurt. It's when, it's when there's an obvious solution that might work, but that would work better than your originality, than your entirely original solution, which is when it would be unhelpful. What is Scope Creepers at? Asking for a friend. Um, I do not have Scope Creeper friended. They blocked me. Uh, server crashed, so I unfortunately cannot answer any more questions. Um... We have a lot more time, but... You know what? I'm gonna answer more questions. DM me on Discord. At Merchant Pug. Um, please DM me your questions, because I'm going to, um... My DMs are open in, mod in the ModFest server. Um... So yeah, just DM me your questions. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch out this by despite a server crash. Do you like foxes and boxes? Yes I do. They are cool. There is no TPS in Bar Sing Se. That is true. Timeless joke. Plug Jeb's book. You know the one. You know what? I'll plug. I'll plug the game design book. It's um, it's actually located in um uh, Stockholm in the um national in a in a library that you can basically like go and visit to read it. Which it's like the reason why it's there is because they wanted they wanted. Ah, uh, they the Swedish library. That Swedish library wanted um wanted some archives. Wanted more diversity with what they archived. So yeah, Jeb's game design book is there, and I do want to go visit it one day. Like that. That sounds cool. Um, Seduce. I'll probably also meet up with Sedusa when I get over there because like that also sounds fun visiting your friends. What are my favorite games besides Minecraft? That's a good question, Ultras. Um, um, I, as I've said before, I've been playing a lot of old school RuneScape. Um, it's, I burnt out for three years straight, um, but I got back into it recently on a fresh account, and I've been enjoying it a lot. It's like, number go up serotonin. That's basically the entire experience. It's also, like, very, like, hands-off, so you can literally do it in the background of other things. What other games do I like, though? Um, I do like Celeste. I like Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower is pretty good. Platformers are nice. Um, Pizza Tower is a good game. Um, play it. I even- I've P-ranked everything except the final boss, and I don't know when I'm gonna do that, because I'm lazy. Does lore help or hinder good game design? Um, it really depends on how you go about it. Like, lore can help. That's, that is thematics. So say like, that is, them, that is, that is part of thematics, lore. But like, okay. What is your opinion in, on Homestuck? Um, I have... I do not... I don't think anything of it. Um, I have... I know, I know about it, but I don't think anything of it. Yes, Carcalicious. That is all I know about Homestuck. That one thing. That one... That one uh, Broadway car cat. Broadway car cat is the best part of Homestuck. Oh? I'm not on mic anymore? Um, what happened? Okay, done. I re-equipped. 
I re-equipped. You, you uh, good? No, it doesn't... Can you do it again? Okay, I re-equipped. Let me just, um... Let me try again. Here we go. Anyone can... Everyone can hear me? Can right, everyone hear fine. me? Okay, cool. I mean, like, um, it's not working, but whatever. Yeah, okay, sure. So... How often do people start small in game design? I think that it's important that you do this. Because, like, starting big is just going to cause a lot of issues on the, on the, on the path, down, down your path later. Like... Like, I think that one example that I would like to give is, like, Omori. Um, Omori turned out pretty good, but it's, like, also just... It took a very long time to make because it was made by an inexperienced person trying to do something big. So, I really would... Su but that's not the question. How many people start small? I think that a lot of people do. And that's a very important thing to do. You say start small, but how often do new devs do that? Um, I don't, I don't have a good, I don't have a good, um, representation of new devs. Um, new devs do start, there are some new devs that are, that start quite big. And like, usually, and things usually end up going unfinished. And it's like, the Amori example, yeah, that did get finished, but... It took a long. It took longer because it was a large project made by an inexperienced dev. So how latest? To how's latest Toho integer work? Toho is amazing. I like Toho. I guess. Um, I like Toho. Um, not a question for me. Average trans girl Toho fan. Yeah, that's true. Thoughts on the gays. They are based. No matter what anyone says, the gays are cool. I'm the gays. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I like women and I'm trans, so, you know, um, I like women as a woman. That's cool. Lesbians are based. In a fight, who would win? Vriska Homestuck or Sans Undertale? No clue. Probably Vriska. I don't know. I don't know, but like Sans does have that. I don't know. We're not. We're not. We're not arguing this. I don't know. I don't know enough about Vriska Homestuck to say so. Thoughts on fishing and its mechanics? I know exactly who asked this. Um. You've made- the person who asked this actually made me very appreciative of fishing in Minecraft. Um... I think that, like... I think that fishing is- does not really need much, because, like, I think it's a good thing that it's not, like... I think it's a good thing that it's side content. But... I think that fishing is in a pretty good spot in Minecraft right now. If you were to ask me. It doesn't need to- it doesn't need to be meta. That's all I'm saying. Has any one person in the history of the universe started small <laughs> in regards to game design? Um... I guess I ha- I mean, I haven't. Like, I was like- like, with game design it was like, only my recent attempt where I started small. And like, that was when I really got into it. Um... Beforehand, when I was like 14, just trying to make a game, it was like, I I did not know what I was doing. As all 14 year olds don't know what they're doing. Um, yeah. As someone who tried to develop games, I did not start small and it ended up in me stopping a billion projects. Mood. Yeah. If you if you always keep adding more stuff, then relatively speaking, you always start small. Okay, buddy. Okay. I 
I accidentally got rid of a genuine question. Um, this que this question is, do you think the game design of Elden Ring can be applied to Minecraft in terms of difficulty? Um, I would say they're two different. I would, like, if you were to ask me, I, I kind of don't. Like, it depends, like, if you're modding, sure, but I don't think it should be vanilla. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't agree with this in vanilla, but if you're modding, absolutely, like, that, like, you can, you can take what you want from other games, and it's like, you can take what you want from other games, and, um, you can apply them to Minecraft if you're, like, making mods, um, that's cool. I'll ask, I'll ask one question, I'll, I'll answer one question that I got given. So, when making mods, do you have to be familiar with the game des design philosophies used by the game? When is it okay to deviate from these, if ever? Game design- so, game design philosophies used by the game, um, they are just a- They- they should not be- they should not be, um, like, thing is, I believe that creators should be able to have freedom over their, um, concepts, but, like, if you want to go close to vanilla, and if you don't want to, that's good too. Like, like let's take Immersive Weathering, for example. That's a mod that I will bring up for a mod that actively avoided a Minecraft game design philosophy. You can do that too. So, when is it okay to deviate from these? If you know what you're doing, and also just, like, if you're not- if you're explicitly knowing what you're doing, sure. That's- it's good to deviate. Um... How did you learn and develop your skills? It takes practice. Um... It takes practice. Um... But, yeah, um, it just takes practice, and it's like, it takes time, it, just keep making things is my suggestion. Keep making things. Anyways, um, here's a question from, um, Xander. Um, what are some tips keeping yourself motivated to work, to continue working on your mo own mods? Especially when the ideas flow so much faster than you can implement them. Good question. Um, it's like, really, I haven't, I have, I'm only just burning out now, and like, I've only taken very small breaks compared to like, other people. But, like, I guess the best thing would be to like, as I said before, um, talk to others about it. Um, talk to others about it. Um, if someone else is interested, that might be the motivation you need. Um, and it's like, also, like, the thing that I like personally is, like, seeing people experience my work. And also what I like, and also, like, what I like to see, too. Like, yeah. Should you prioritize your own vision for the game or your community's vision for the game? Or does it depend? Um... I think that, like, I think that, like, it really depends on, um, it really depends on, like, yeah, hi, Xander stuff. Um, yeah, so it really depends, I think, like, sometimes a community might, like, sometimes a community might know pretty good, but, like, the thing is, like, you're always the final judge. I think that, I think that you should probably go off your own tuition rather than the community's tuition. I'll bring up, like, I'll bring up, like, Old School RuneScape as an example of, um, like, the community's tuition being the thing that decides things. Like, it just doesn't quite, it, like, Old School RuneScape polling system had to go through a lot of changes to get where, where it is now. And, like, people would just vote no initially because they did not want the game to change at all. But... Um, people started vote, but then when people started voting yes... Um, the game, the player base did, when people, like, started to go, like, oh, um, what do you want to see? 
in the game, out of these options, um, it started getting updates. And then, like, we're back to yes or no polling. Sailing just passed, which is, like, that's cool. Um, um, yeah, um, like, RuneScape's one of the examples where it's, like, very community-driven. But you really don't have to be community-driven if you don't want to. Sans under yeah, if, if community vision reduces your passion and style of vision, it's not worth it. I agree. Sans Undertale. Papyrus Undertale. Favorite Minecrafter of all time. I don't know, I guess, I guess Green's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Let me just skip the, um, shitpost questions. Have I ever played Earthbound? Yes, I have. I love Earthbound. Like, this is one of my- this was an autistic hyperfixation of mine a while back. Um, I did not beat it because I just sort of grinded too many levels to get the, um, king- to get the king sort of kings. And it sort of ruined my playthrough, but... Um, yeah, Earthbound is good. Um, do you like cats? Yes, despite being named Pug, I'm a cat person. I want to get a cat Lovely. when my sister moves out, and, um... And, um, then her bunny will move out with her, which the bunny's scared of cats, and might die of a heart attack upon seeing a cat, so... We can't oh. get a cat, which is sad. Rip. Thoughts on the new villager librarian mechanics? Honestly, villagers are what killed my will to play the game previously. If you want my full opinion, I think, I think that it's, it's a good start. I would like to see other things be improved with the enchanting table and treasure loot, which I made an entire suggestion on it. Um, I made an entire suggestion just saying, oh yeah, make treasure loot feel more logical and like buy them and like have actual logic to it instead of just like being like, hey, here's a, here's a treasure that you can find basically anywhere in the game like most enchantments are. Um, I think that that would be a good change. What are your thoughts on Mojang's design philosophy? I generally love Mojang's, what Mojang's doing. Um... I think that they've done, I think that they've done a tremendous job with, like, certain things in the game. Others, not, not as great, but I still think that, like, the new updates are, like, very nice. Um, 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 yeah. How do you handle bad feedback? Um, when I started out, I would listen, yeah. Starting out when I when I would listen to um others um starting out when I listened to others um um I would I would usually listen to others but like when I sort of grew my own confidence I stopped listening to certain feedback but how do I handle bad feedback um just tell them that just tell them a reason why and if they continue you can always like push, you can always, like, push, uh, if they continue to get, if they get angry at you for that, um, a ban, a ban button, a ban button is, um, is a good tool. No, don't ban everyone who disagrees with you. <laughs> if they're respectful about it, don't. Um, but yeah. How much do you hate Gradle? I would strangle that fucking elephant. I would genuinely strangle that fucking elephant. Fuck that elephant. Have you ever played any Earthbound ROM hacks or Mother Free? I played Mother Free when I was a lot younger, but I did not finish it. I sort of stopped at the ocean section because my phone got because my phone died. Because I was playing it on my emulate I was playing it on emulator on my phone. But which also had which also had um lag, so I couldn't do combos. But, um, Mother Free is good. Um, Mother Free is great. Um, love it. Haven't played any Earthbound ROM hacks, though. I'd have to look into that. Any inspiration or role models that have impacted how you game design? Lua! 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 Hi, Lua! 
Um, also, I would say that Apace is another person who definitely impacted me with game design. Like, I, I love, I love, um, I love the, um, approach with Origins, where it was, like, integrating into vanilla camp mechanics over making things that are completely new. Like, I think that it's a very good design philosophy for Origin, for a mod like Origins, and... That's where I, um, and that's where I would say that that's one of the reasons I love Origins and have stuck for it for, like, two years. Um... Yeah, uh, we got... So yeah, Lua has pretty much kickstarted me into thinking like a game designer. Like, Lua actively got me thinking, so Lua's been a huge inspiration. Like, Lua's mainly been active around, like, the Origins scene, like, formally, but Lua's been getting into, like, mod pack stuff and, like, also a card game. Which, like, the card game is quite cool. The card game between friends, um, it is, like... I appreciate card games, even though I do not understand them. Um, Earthbound ROM hacking has been one of my ADHD hyperfixations. I'm glad to see someone else enjoying the game. Yeah, Earthbound's fucking cool. Opinions on archaeology. Um, I like it. Um, I think that it's a nice side content. It shouldn't be like... Like, I know Zuma. I know Zuma Void complained about it, but it's like, it should be side content. It doesn't need to be main content. Like, it's side content for if you really want to do it, and... And I think that that's what a lot of Minecraft features are. Like, there's a lot of side content. Any tips for managing t pace to prevent burnout? Um... To prevent burnout, um, I would... I would just take breaks when you can. Like, for me, it's hard for me to take breaks, so I'm not the best person to ask about that. But it's like... Just don't try to rush out features. Like, I've been feeling burnout. I've been feeling out burnout um, within my stuff ever since, like, BlanketCon and getting into OSRS. Like, I just want to have a... Like, I'll be having a break after BlanketCon from modding. And, um... I'll be having a break from BlanketCon... From, like, modding after BlanketCon. And... Yeah, that's an important thing. I just regard it if, is the game supposed to freeze every time I tab out. I'm not the one, I'm not the authority to say that. Um. Any more questions? Um, I will, I will, um, probably answer a few last questions, because I know that there's no event going on right now. But I will answer a few last questions to anyone who wants it, who wants them answered. Maybe like free questions. Lua smells. I agree. You know, we're putting this up for the entire thing. We're putting this up for the entire- for the entire world to see. Lua smells. Okay, so what am I- what is my opinion on Dimension game design? I don't have opinions. Um... I don't have opinions on that, um, unfortunately, but... Yeah, um, I don't really have opinions on Dimensions. As Garfield once said, you are not immune to propaganda. I really am not. Do you think the general Minecraft sound experience is satisfying or could it be improved? Sound? Um, that's out of my field. But, if you were to ask me, I think it's satisfying enough for the general person. For the general person, it's quite nice. I guess, like, at most they could- like, I love mud bricks. I love what they're doing with, um... I love what they're doing with the, um, new sounds in the later updates. Like, mud bricks. Mud bricks are a good fucking sound. Um... But, yeah, like, sound design is not entirely... Sound design is not, is, is more so up to, is a separate thing, but it does play a hand in game design. Like, it's just sound design is something else. Same with art design. What is your process like for game balancing? 
Um, balancing is a good question, because, like, we should probably explain what is balancing first. Um, balancing is basically, like, tweaking things to make sure that it's fair for, like, other people. Um, so, basically, so basically, um, I would just get something out there, playtest it a bit, and then, like, balancing takes time as well. So, I would, like, get feedback from people and, like, and, like, play it yourself, and then see what feels fair. So that's my opinion on, um, game balance. That's my process on game balancing. Game balancing usually is, like, a side thing for me, instead of, like... Because, like, if the con... Because, like, the thing with balancing, if the content doesn't feel good to use, um, that's more of a problem than if it's balanced. Or not. Because nobody's gonna want to use it. Um... How can you properly balance the interactions between different stages of the game? Um, up to you. That's a bit of a heavy question for me. Um, I would recommend just, like, taking time to think about that. Um, like, say if you want the early game, say if you want something for the, for the early game, it's like, um, if you want something for the early game, like, um, just, just figure out what you want at each stage, each stage of the game. Like, I'll bring up my tabletop RPG that I'm working on with Sedusa, for example, where it's like, we specific, it's a Minecraft TTRPG, but like, specifically, um, we wanted the nev, we wanted the overworld to, the end of the overworld to signify stage one, the start of the game was stage zero, then the never, the end of the never is stage two, and then the end of the end is stage three. So generally we're balancing, it's generally having a good goal, having a good thing in mind to like what your stages of the game is a good, is a good start. I can't really answer the rest. That's up to you. Joke questions. Thoughts on known knave and crim criminal Garfield. Yeah. How much early? Yeah, Lua, agree Lua, Lua absolutely agrees. I agree with Lua. So, I do not like Garfield. We should cancel him. And I think that's all the questions. Um, I will, I will be off now. And I will get back to playing Animal Crossing on my Nintendo, on my Nintendo 3DS. That's all the time I have for today. I don't have Animal Crossing, but like... I'm probably just gonna play Old School RuneScape for a bit today, and like, just... Wow, these are some fireworks. Oh, who's tomatoing me? Fuck you. Fuck you. No, don't, don't join in. Alright, um, thank you for listening.